Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and I wanted to recap on a YouTube video I did a couple years ago on a Y pipe model. I had a comment, uh, somebody replied, what if I want the diameter of the outlet uh, smaller than the inlet? Uh, how do I do it? So let's get to work. So just to recap on what we did on the initial video is I had a Y pipe. The Y pipe was made up of a sketch. This one's a little bit more of a hybrid. I'm able to change the angle and the dimensions of each of the different segments on this one. And then we use this to create uh, two sweep features. One sweep feature is going to be, you know, uh, across two of those. It's a circular profile. So all we're doing is putting in what the diameter of that profile is, and then it's just following the path. So once we create the first one, then we go back in, edit, create the second one, and then it just joins those two together. And if the diameters are the same, then they're going to come in, you know, and create a, a nice little connecting surface, and it looks pretty good. And then, of course, we can just shell that out. All right, so let's go to our uh, first model. For the most part, if the diameter is smaller, I only have three options. Uh, it's going to be on, we'll say this is a option 01, 02, and 03. And if we kind of think about it, it, there's really only two options because this guy and this guy can pretty much be the same. So depending on how you model it up will depend on how you go about creating the geometry. So in this case, same technique. All I did is edit the second sweep and just made the diameter a little bit smaller and then shelled it out. So it looks pretty good. Uh, the other way to do it would be to do something similar to a reducer uh, coming down this. And there's a couple different ways to do a reducer. If you have SolidWorks Premium, then you get the routing library. And inside the routing library, there's a reducers folder. And in the reducers folder, you can open up the reducer. And they did theirs a little bit different. They actually used a uh, base sweep. And then after they did the sweep, then they shelled it out. And after they shelled it out, they put chamfers on there uh, because it's a welded part. So they also have a lot of configurations. So if you need different sizes, then you can course get those different sizes. I decided to do mine a little bit different. I went ahead and went with a uh, revolve. So same basic shape. Then I came in and just created a sketch and did a revolve off the bottom. But again, I could have created this sketch. Um, I wouldn't want to create it on this side because I wouldn't be able to get the plug out unless it's a casted part. Uh, but if it's PVC or plastic, then I need to make, be sure to get the plug out so I wouldn't be able to create the flange on that inside on that one. Uh, but I could do it on the top and the bottom on this one. Uh, just do the revolve. And then I went ahead and did a little bit more of an extrude here. And then again, shelled it out. So as long as I can get the plug, you know, straight out of that location, then I should be good, good for manufacturing. So I hope this helps answers that question. Keep the comments coming. Like our videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your time. And model on.